welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, as you see in the title, I got a little bit of a haul and a chitty chat. So I, I had to go to Costco to get gas for the week and gas prices were still down um, here in my area. Actually, if I drive that half hour to go to Costco, I save over 50 cents a gallon. So it's worth it to me to do that. And then I get my shopping done there and on the way home. Done deal. So that's kind of been my routine. Well, um, gas was 183 a gallon, uh, which I know it's cheaper in other parts of the country. If you are lower than that, let me know where you're from and how much it is. For everybody to kind of get a grip on what's going on, I think I saw bigger changes today than I've seen since it started. Even though at first we had all the shortages of toilet paper and paper towels and all that, that subsided and now it's changing to another part of the shortage. So anyways, go in, you have to wear a mask, that's fine. I love that. Um, I always have my Clorox wipes with me, so I'm careful at the gas pump. They're very, very clean at the gas pumps at Costco anyway, and they're clean with the carts and all that. So I go in and I, I really wanted just um, some of the cilantro and chicken meat wontons, and I totally walked out without them. I don't even know if they had them because I didn't look. So. And mainly what kind of caught me off guard was when I went into the meat section, I wanted another brisket. I'd like to put a brisket. Um, those prime briskets from Costco are delicious. I wanted to have one so come Father's Day, I would have a brisket ready and all I'd do is thaw it out. And anyway, no, the whole meat section was rearranged. So it looks full, but it's not. There was very little beef, um, a little bit of ground beef. There was a couple chuck roasts, no steaks at all. Um, no big cuts where you could buy in bulk and cut it up yourself. None of that going on. Um, the pork was a little scarce as well. They did have, they didn't have pork shoulders, which they usually always have a dual pack of pork shoulder roast. Um, they did not. They had pork loins. They were up a dollar a pound. I mean, prices were up too. It wasn't just the lesser amount of it, but the prices were up. And so... Um, I thought that was quite interesting. The only meat that I bought at Costco was, uh, they did have pork blade, shoulder blade uh, steaks, and I love these. Each one of these will give me two to three meals. So, um, and there's what, six in there. So that's 12 plus meals for me um, to actually do. And I'm gonna use one of these. Um, I'm gonna grill it off and it's going in my recipe for this. I also um, purchased some shrimp, and that package that was uh, $2.29 a pound. Um, that package was $15.59 for uh, six of those, <clears throat> um, and it came out to six, almost seven pounds of meat. So um, yeah, so I would say in that case, I mean, there's a bone in there. I, I could easily get 14 meals from that. I also bought some shrimp. It's also going in my recipe. And that was, I think, $14 or something. I bought some more Tillamook, um, two and a half pound brick of Tillamook Colby Jack. That's $8.89, I think. Eight, no, $8.39 a pound. I was almost out of Johnny's garlic, so I bought that. Um, I also bought a, is this five pounds? I want to say it is. Mm, maybe not. Yep, five pounds of garlic. So this is all peeled. And the reason I bought this is because I'm gonna be doing a canning pickled garlic. If you've never had it, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's delicious. Trust me, on this one, you're gonna wanna get this recipe. It's fantastic. Okay, so I bought that for that particular canning session. Oh, and I also, at Costco, and I believe that was $9.99. Um, I bought, this is Andouille smoked jalapeno and cheddar sausage. This is going to be for a number of recipes, but one of which is going in. This is like a 15 bean blend. They call it an heirloom bean blend. Beans, peas, and lentils. And I have fallen in love with um, this blend because the peas break down and make just a creamy 
uh, you know, it's not brothy anymore and you don't have to mash any of them. They break apart on their own and make it creamy and thick, but so satisfying. And I like it with this kind of sausage as well as like a bulk browned Italian sausage. Um, or you could even use breakfast sausage, anything like that. Uh, I've even seen a pizza version, which uh, pizza bean soup, or 15, 15 bean pizza soup. That sounds amazing. So that was um, Costco. And then, um, and I believe this was $7.50 for a five, five pound, is it five? Five and a half pound bag of 15 bean um, soup mix. I also got these uh, on the fine tomatoes and what else was Costco? Um, not the wontons. And a, I believe this is a two and a half pound bag of espresso blend coffee beans. I grind my own coffee every morning. And by the way, a little helpful hint if you're in the Northwest, um, my daughter tells me that coffee grounds help detour the slugs in your garden. So yay. Anyway. Then I stopped at the store on the way home, because that's it at Costco. Stopped at the store to get mini wontons, which they had. Um, quite a bit more expensive than Costco would have been, but that's okay. I also got some cage-free, uh, beautiful cage-free eggs. Um, uh, a bundle of celery, which I love celery. And four red bell peppers. These are beautiful. And they were a dollar a piece. Um, I, I generally eat a bell pepper almost every day. So four days out of this week, I will have that with my lunch snack. So that's my haul. But I, I also saw at the normal grocery store, there wasn't a lot of beef. And the prices have gone up. So I'm, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, back here behind me, it, um, let's see, there's 10 two, four, six, eight, so 18 jars of chicken. Um, pint jars and one and a half pint jars. Chipotle chicken and then a spicy browned roasted, spicy in a spicy broth. Um, they're both absolutely delicious, but I highly encourage you to go ahead and put some meat and protein back in your pantry and in your freezer. If your freezer isn't full, get it put back now. I just, I feel like we're headed for something. And uh, I did buy some uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Those are also going in my recipe. And um, it's, I'll package the rest up in individual portions for me and freezer bank them. But yeah, I think, I think we need to continue the process of prepping our pantries. And if you can't get a hold of stuff, please go down and look at my Thrive website. They're restocking items every day. I'm getting emails all the time saying, hey, we've got new items back in stock. Um, and I, I encourage you to go over there and either become a consultant under me or um, go ahead and sign up as a delivery customer. As a delivery customer, you get 15% off of every time you order automatically. And if you order $100 or more, you don't pay shipping. So at least you can stock your shelves with shelf stable things. You don't need a freezer. Um, their meats, yeah, it's a little bit more, but if you don't have any, there's absolutely no waste. And um, I don't know, I think we should probably stock up now while we can. All right, guys. Not trying to cause any panic. Um, I'm not worried for myself. I do, I do make sure that I have enough and that I have enough to share because I have a family too and neighbors that might need help. You never know. Anyway, all right. So what are your thoughts on this? Um, lockdown is loosening up, but things are tightening down in the grocery stores. It's a little different than it was last week. All right. I guess I hope to see you soon and hear from you down in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see out of all of this that I put out here for you guys.